Hey guys, what's up? You guys are normally really good at catching on to things, so I feel like I don't have to tell you, but I guess I will. First things first, I am officially brunette. If you guys don't follow me on Vine, Keek, Instagram, my Facebook, um, all my links really, you guys will not know, or Twitter, you guys will not know what's going on in the world of Mariah. Um, because I change everything so fast and so quickly that you guys will, I can't make a YouTube video every time I change something, so, um, first things first, I'm no longer blue, I'm brunette. Um, I know a lot of you guys wanted a video on how I went blue, but to be honest, like, I regret doing it. And it's not because of what people tell me, it's just like, I didn't even really like the blue. Like, the first day I put it on, I was like, this is so cool, after that I hated it. I knew it was going to be an upkeep, just like my red hair, and I really, really missed my blonde. I was looking at pictures of me with blonde hair, and it made me very sad, so, um... Thursday was my service day at school. Wednesday night, I started to use color remover, and my hair started turning green, and I was like, no! And not only that, my hair was so dry, and I was like, no! So, um, I couldn't go to blonde because I'd have to bleach my hair, and I really don't think that it would have been smart to do that. My hair would not have been able to hold up to that challenge, so I said, you know what, I'll just go brunette. I did not want to go black. I just wanted to try to go with my natural, and I haven't seen my natural hair in so long, so I don't know. I feel like this is pretty close, um, just like a brown. Maybe a little bit darker would be my natural. But I'm happy to be a brunette again. This is more my natural color. If you guys did not know, um, brunette is my natural color. So, with that being said, I do definitely regret going blue because I miss my blonde, but I knew that if I went blonde, my hair would probably have to be super short, and I didn't want to get rid of my length, so I am a brunette. And yes, it's probably going to stay this way for a while. I know you guys are like, you're crazy, girl. You're constantly changing your hair. I am in cosmetology school. Experimenting is so much fun. Also, I have a new piercing, the Monroe piercing. I've had this piercing done a couple years ago. Took it out because I was a certified nursing assistant CNA, and it didn't look right. wasn't really appropriate. Now I'm not a CNA, so I can have it. I'm in the cosmetology field. It's acceptable, all that. So, um... Yeah, those are like my little updates. Also, I just want to say that I'm so, so, so grateful to have 2,000 subscribers. I think the last time I checked earlier today, I was at 2015. The other day, I hit 2,000, 2K. Um, I can't believe it. It's sometimes a little surreal, and I know a lot of people are like, okay, girl, like 2,000 isn't a lot compared to, but for me, it's a lot, and just having like even 100 is a lot to me. Like, I don't know 2,000 people when you look at it like that, and I have 2,000 15 people that literally like watching my videos like it's kind of surreal um I don't know what to say about that other than I am so thankful and grateful and that I will definitely have a giveaway coming very soon um I can't give you an exact date because I still don't know what I want to do for the giveaway but I want to give back something really really great so give me some time to come up with something really great and in a couple weeks you guys will definitely be having a giveaway also, the other day at school, I had a subscriber come in and tour my school because she's interested in coming to my school. That was crazy because that's the first time I've ever met a subscriber. Um, it was just, it was insane. It was just, it was crazy! I don't even know what to say. Meeting subscribers has got to be the craziest thing ever that people recognize me from my YouTube videos and obviously my cosmetology vlogs are being watched and loved and because of what I said and what I was learning she thought it would be a great school so she looked into it and she actually toured my school and she got to meet me so hi girl it was so nice meeting you. All that stuff is so exciting so um Anyway, I like to ramble for hours. If you guys allow me to, I will ramble forever. I don't want to ramble. Today's video is all about summer waves, how to get the effortless beachy look. I use my Remington. I don't even know what size this is, but it'll be listed below. Um, curling wand. It goes from big to small. I love this. It's so lightweight. It's so great. Um, I got it at Ulta for about 30 bucks, I believe. Sorry, my phone's going off. Alerts from Instagram. I did get it for 30 bucks, and... Um, I love it. I just love the beach wave look and we are finally at summer. Yesterday was the first day of summer. Today's the second day. So um, why not do a tutorial on how to get these effortless beach waves. So if you guys want to learn or want to watch or want to see how to get these effortless beach waves then just keep watching. Thanks guys. Okay, so um, first things first. These are Dolce Vita hair extensions. 
they look really fragile towards the ends because I have dyed these so many times. These are actually the extensions that were bright, bright red when I had red hair. So I colored over them two times. You can kind of still see the red coming through, but it somehow matches really well um, throughout the whole thing. Like somehow it works. I was afraid it wasn't gonna because the red would not stop coming through. I colored these twice with like an ash brown color even at school trying to get them to match and um, the red was still coming through but it looks kind of cool. kind of looks like a reddish ombre kind of thing. It just matches really well. So um, that's why they're very dry. Um, I did buy Head Candy hair extensions when I have blonde hair but I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely hate them. I'm not going to do a review on them. I'm just going to say that they were the most terrible hair extensions I have ever purchased in my life. I contacted the company. They said that basically the batch of hair that I received they had no complaints from so therefore they weren't going to send me a new package and they wouldn't reimburse me or give me money back or anything so um, I will never ever ever buy from Head Candy ever again and I'm not even like I said gonna do a review I'm just gonna tell you guys don't order from them because a they're not good quality hair extensions and B um, their customer service is two thumbs down so with that being said I did order Bellamy hair extensions I've heard nothing but great things um, I'm kind of scared because I did order from Head Candy hoping that I would have really good hair extensions and it turned out to be really really crappy um, so I hope Bellamy doesn't let me down um, and as soon as I get Bellamy's in, I'm going to give them a good try and then hopefully do a positive, positive review because I hate reviewing things negatively. But to be honest with you, I think Head Candy is the first run and I've had with any company where I absolutely hated everything about it, the hair and the freaking customer service. So um, that's just my word of wisdom. Don't buy from them. I have them down here, but I won't even wear them because they're like a rat's nest. Like I said, these Dolce Vita ones have been through so, so much and obviously the ends are really, really terrible due to the fact that I have over processed them myself but I'll still wear them because when I curl them it's not so obvious but um Dolce Vita even has really really great hair extensions I don't want to get into it because it's gonna be like me rambling on and on but all I want to say is head candy is not somebody or a company I would ever order from ever again so um you can honestly trust that review because uh you know, I don't like to review companies negatively but sometimes you have no choice but to do it. So um yeah I just want to tell you guys that these are Dolce Vita um, I will have everything about them listed below if you're interested in purchase, purchasing from them. Woo, it's been a while since I filmed, so cut me some slack. Okay, this is Schwarzkopf Got To Be Guardian Angel. Schwarzkopf Got To Be Guardian Angel Heat Protective Spray. I'm just going to go through my hair like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is there really a need to count? Probably not. I'm just going to work this heat tamer spray all through like so. Um, just to protect my hair extensions and my real hair. Um, so the curling iron, or the curling wand I'm working with, I should say, is the Remington curling wand. Um, I'm not sure about the size of it, except that it is, let me get the cord off my knee. Um, it goes from like big to smaller, so you have like bigger curls at the base and then towards the end they become like loose. So this is perfect for the tutorial for loose beachy waves. Um, it goes up to like a really high, hot like um, temperature, but I have it at 380, that's enough. When I'm using a curling wand on other people, I don't use a glove, but when I use it on me, I use a glove because I always burn my fingers. But if I was to do it on somebody else, um, I would have no problems doing it without burning my fingers. Hold on. Hey. Well, I'm in the middle of filming. <laughs> no, I actually just started. This will be a blooper. No, it's okay. Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. I mean, I'm just starting to ramble on and on about how bad head candy sucks. So, I was like apologizing to them. Like, I'm really stupid for going on and on about these hair extensions. But, like, this is not a hair extension video. What am I doing? Hey, guys. So, I found it a little odd that my eyebrows were not filled in. But that's because I'm a busy gal. So, now I filled them back in. And I'm on camera again because my eyebrows look like they're non-existent when they're not filled in. So, um... Yeah, back to the tutorial part. I just like to put a glove on to protect my hand because I burn my hand. But when I'm working on other people with a curling wand, I have more control. I don't know why, but that's just the way it goes, I guess, being me. So I'm just going to section off my hair. It does not have to be like a perfectly perfect section. I never have perfect sections. I'm um, just going to pull whatever's left to the front. And I'm going to put a glove on my left hand. 
because I hold the hair with my left and curl the wand with my right. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a section like this, put the curling wand behind me, and then just begin to wrap like so. I'm going to hold it for about 10 seconds. And then I'm just going to release like so. You'll have a little bouncy spring spring like this. I'm going to put it behind my head like this. Grab another piece or a section. Put the curling wand behind and wrap the hair around, round, round. Hold it for 10 seconds. And then go ahead and release. And you'll have little springy, bouncy curls like that. Again, I'm just going to take another section. And then just wrap, 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 wrap. section um, and just wrap 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 but just keep in mind that when you take large sections like I just did it looks like a hot mess you have to hold it for like 20 30 seconds um, but I definitely really really enjoy doing this towards the top because it just creates more fullness and more texture see like this is like huge and I, I don't know you just I like how it gets at the top I like to you do smaller tighter curls at the like bottom or the bottom half of my hair and then just use like larger pieces um, at the top because I just like the effect it creates. Like I said, it just gives off that beachy wave appearance. So just continue to do that towards the top. Just take bigger sections. So just section it to whatever side um, you want to section it to. I think for today. Do like this. So just go ahead and take a section and begin to back home. Like so. And then just brush it down slightly. I like to tease before I style just because I like how it looks a lot better. I don't like to like tease after I've already curled my hair. So just, and I don't do a heavy tease. Those who are familiar with my videos, you know I've said it time and time again that I do not go crazy when I tease my hair, but I do like a little bit of volume at the base, especially for a look like this. Um, I definitely like how it looks. Hold it for a few seconds and then release. And then hold it for a few seconds and then you can release. So now what I like to do is just back up from the camera so you guys can see. Take my hands and just like bloop bloop run my fingers straight through it. Um, should be no problems doing this. Just do it up. Run your fingers, run your fingers. What we're doing is creating more volume, texture, and definitely get a, getting that um loose beachy wave appearance. If you leave them too tight, they will not look like beach waves. Um, and obviously, as from this tutorial, like I've been saying, we are definitely trying to get beach waves. So just, um, like I said, run your fingers through. Don't brush through. I don't like to do that, especially wearing extensions. It'll pull the tracks out and uh, make them kind of frizzy. Your fingers are your tools, so use them. It's the reason God gave them to us. So um, 
yeah, once you think that you have enough uh, texture, what you can do is take a hairspray. I'm going to be taking my Sebastian Professional Shaper Plus. I love Sebastian. I love all their products. Um, as you guys are familiar with already, I go to beauty school, so I get this stuff at Cosmoprof. Um, not everybody can go to Cosmoprof, but I do believe they sell high-end stuff at like Walgreens, CVS. A little pricey, but honestly, you can use any hairspray that you like, but I just really like this stuff. What I'm going to do is just, um, where I teased, spray a little bit of hairspray in the back just to add some volume and then just uh, in through the extensions as well and that is the tutorial finished I think that this is an awesome, awesome look. Literally, I know I sped this up fast time for you guys so you wouldn't have to be sitting here, but this look to took a total of 30 minutes. And that's not a lot of time. To me, to get this look, it's effortless. I mean, I've spent like an hour on my hair before, so 30 minutes to me is not bad. So to me, that's very effortless. And um, I'll do a 360 for you guys. So I hope you guys totally really love this tutorial and if you guys want to see more summer themed tutorials whether it be makeup or hair please let me know in the comments below and also any requests because sometimes I have a little bit of filmer's block and I don't know what to film and it just helps to get some ideas from my wonderful subscribers so please leave that below and until next time I will see you guys very soon. Bye babies! You go. I can't keep chasing when you gave up long time ago I need to shake it off, got a long way to go, oh no